next topic is Fusion Team. And this is one of the products that is part of the extended use program from Autodesk. Within Fusion Team, this is a, um, it's a cloud hosted site that gives you some uh, data management for your, your products and your designs. The Fusion Team is also something that might be part of your entitlement. So for instance, if you have product design and manufacturing collection or PDMC, you may have this already. You might have this as an entitlement. So again, managers out there, go and take a look at your accounts portal and see, do you have this? You might, you might not know it. And you can go and wake up a hub, you can go and invite other users, but let me, I'll put you on the path, but I'm just put, laying the groundwork. You might have it already. If not, go and check it out through um, Autodesk Extended Use Program. So what it is, it is this is for manufacturing or design and manufacturing. And it allows you to upload 2D or 3D designs with all the intelligence of uses and where used, being able to view, and there's no install. So you can, you can upload your data and view it. You can do markups. You can have discussions on it, much like shared views, but it's actually your you're creating versions up in the cloud. It allows you to add in not only your teammates, but those that are, might be consultants. You can, you can add into this platform contractors, consultants, customers, vendors, and suppliers. So what's nice about this is it allows you to put your data out there, just what you want to put out there, and work with people. And it has a permission model, which we'll get to. First, let's talk about some terminology, the hub. A hub is technically a site. So when you have a Fusion Team hub, that's your company's hub. Think of it as a, um, as a site, a piece of the cloud just for your company. You get to be part of it. So it's a central workplace. Now you can have, uh, you can be part of multiple hubs, but as a company or a contract owner, you usually just have one. You'd have an admin, and then you go and create other users, and you can give those other users varying levels of permission. Within the hub, you have projects. So think of this like you, you probably think in terms of projects, maybe products today, product lines, service lines, you, you probably categorize things today. A fusion team, inside of a hub, you have projects that are, then there's a couple of different types, but the idea of a project is that's where all of the data for that one project goes. And we have permission levels for projects. You might not to be, be able to see all of the projects, there's a couple of different types. There's even a secret project for just sensitive information. There's an open project where anyone can join varying different levels. And this allows you to get your job done with a little bit of security model, a little bit of permission, yet it's out there in the cloud and you don't have to uh, do anything with VPN or firewall or anything like that. So uh, the idea is you set up your fusion team, you invite people, they get an email, they join, they're in. So this works. Fusion Team can actually work on all modern browsers, although there is, um, um, so Internet Explorer 11, there might be limited viewing support as that is um, somewhat on its way out, but I thought I'd put it in because I know some customers still have it, have to use it. Um, it also runs on mobile very nicely. So if you have a tablet and a phone, you can see the data out there so you don't have to stop, go and fire up the laptop. It's going to find you um, wherever you are in terms of um, operating systems, all the latest operating systems. And as you sign up for this and as you enable it, you might actually have access to more hubs than you know. So for instance, this is a screen cap of one of my machines. I have access to BIM 360 docs, Team, Autodesk Drive, um, and Fusion Team as well. So it allows you access from your desktop. And this is particularly critical because within Fusion Team to get the data up into the cloud, you actually work within Windows Explorer. So if you have Inventor or AutoCAD or any other design tool loaded, you just work with within Windows Explorer. You save it to these drives, the drive synchronizes it with Fusion Team. There's much more information to talk about here, but it just will give you an idea of the reason that Fusion Team is um, especially powerful. We have different permission levels. So if you want to invite certain team members to certain projects, you can do that. If you want to keep a contractor or supplier out of certain projects, you can do that. So we have a nice permission model that'll get you going. And it's something that you can use as a central location to get, uh, to get work done and for everybody to collaborate. So this can be the source of truth. For more information on how to work with it with Fusion Team and Inventor, please see the Inventor blog where we cover uh, in more detail, the terminology, permission roles, the desktop connector, and how to upload inventor data.